Greetings! My name is Natalia and last week you all decided that I should create another DIY for school. So I took that and combined it with home decor and created this little planter. It's completely made out of a ruler. It's super decorative and it's really really easy to create and give away to your favorite teacher. Now you decide what I should create next by voting in the card above. And let's begin. Here's what you need to create this planter. You need to take the folding ruler and then just separate the whole thing. But if you have a regular wooden ruler, just skip this part. Then take each individual stick and then just pull it apart from the hinges. You can use some pliers to separate the hinges because it can get a little bit difficult. But continue this process of removing hinges until you're only left with the sticks. Now the end of these sticks has to get sewn off because they aren't really usable. So just saw up to the nearest and most visible millimeter and then continue doing this with all of the sticks. Then you should be left with these sticks with whole ends. Now we need to make sure that all sides of the planter is equal in height. So take all of the sticks and then measure out 8 centimeters and then make a mark. And continue doing this with all of the sticks. Then saw them to pieces right at the marking. Take some sandpaper and then smoothen out all of the edges so you don't get any splinters. Remove all of the smaller pieces and then put them aside because we need to work on the larger ones to create the sides. If your marker is still visible on the sticks, you can just take some hand sanitizer and then just rub it off. Put some glue on the sides of the sticks and then glue them together. I used three sticks to create one side because these sticks aren't that wide. But the width of the sides is really up to you. Now continue gluing the sticks together and then create all of the sides. Then leave them to dry completely before moving on. When they're all completely dry, we need to glue the sides together. So put some glue right on the edge of one side and then put another one right onto it. You can use something like a plate to keep everything straight and in 90 degrees. Put some glue on the edge of the other sides and then glue them together as well. Use the plate to keep everything straight and then leave them to dry completely. When they are completely dry, we need to glue them together. So put some glue on the edges here and here and then push them together and then leave it to dry completely. You can use a clamp to keep the whole structure together, but just be careful when using one because it might squish the whole structure. You also need to create a bottom and that's where the smaller pieces come into play. So put some glue on the sides of the sticks and then glue them together. Then leave both pieces to dry completely before attaching them. When they're all dried up, put some glue on one opening of the planter, then attach the bottom piece and let the whole thing dry completely. Then take a freezer bag and then cut one corner off. Then take this triangular pocket and then just shove it into the planter. Make sure to reach the bottom of the planter before adding any soil. Fill the planter up halfway with soil before adding the plant. Gently push the plant into the planter and then fill it up with more soil. Cut off any excess pieces of the plastic bag and then water your plant. If you don't feel like planting anything into this, you can also use it as a pencil holder, but that's totally up to you. I hope you enjoy watching, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to hit the bell button below so you don't miss out of any future videos. And if you're looking for more inspiration, check out these DIYs here, and I'll see you soon with more ideas. Bye!